Hello, my friend. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, Loretta and I, we just got out of our study and um, we wanted to just come in and encourage you today. Loretta, I'm going to call this Today with Frederick and Loretta. Mm -hmm. How about okay. that? How you like that? Sounds good. Today with Frederick and Loretta. Uh, he comes up with great titles. Well, I mean, that's what we do. That's what we do. But we want this to help you, okay? Uh, for the last few years, we've been studying about disciple making, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, doing the Great Commission. And as a result, uh, my eyes have come open to just a, a new way of living my life and a new way to approach life. And, um, you know, I found out that while we preach what we believe, we reproduce what we are. Yeah. Okay. And um, uh, this whole concept of disciple making is birthed out of where, Loretta, what's our key scripture verse? What is it? Um, it's coming from Matthew, um, the 28th chapter, starting with verse 17. Mm -hmm. um, no, how about verse, just, just, just. Okay, with verse 18. Yeah, read that for me. And Jesus came up and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations. Ethnic groups, all the nations, okay? All nations, go and make disciples. So, uh, uh, so, but let me just ask you this. Who are you modeling? Who are you patterning your life after? Now I know everybody says I won't be like Jesus. I won't be like Jesus. But 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 when we make that practical, there's somebody in life that we should be always working with. And by the way, everybody in life should have a peer, a pal, and a pupil. You want me to say that again? A peer, someone you look up to. A pal, someone you run across with. And a pupil, someone you pull along with. That's to pull down into. That's the balance of life. A peer. People you look up to, someone you look up to, a pal. What do you think about that, Loretta? A pal is somebody you work alongside of, and a pupil, someone you're pouring into. The point you're pouring into is going to be your disciple. Mm -hmm. But you should have someone you're looking up to, people you're running with, and someone you're pouring down into. What do you think about that? You know, I remember you told me that years ago, and I didn't, I didn't get it right then. But the more I um, really get into the study of discipleship, not just I can disciple making disciple making. Yeah, that's what they're disciple saying. Disciple making. Yeah. It becomes clear and clear. Well, we talk, people say discipleship. You, you see that all the time in church, a call to discipleship. Yes. And then what happens? It stops there. It generally stops there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We use that word discipleship. You probably got it in your church bulletin, but it just it's 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 just nothing, right? Mm -hmm. It's just something on paper. But disciple making is different. What's different about disciple making? Um, one of the things that I found that's different about disciple making is the meantime that you spend mm. with the person that that you are um um being, uh, being discipled being by. discipled by. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you mean when you say me time? There's special time, just time that you're spending together because it's disciple making is a lot about how you are actually living. So living. that someone could be, you're living a life that someone else can repeat after you. Ah, oh, repeat a model. Okay, so let's just talk about that. Discipleship versus disciple making. Okay, so you one you said it's the me time. Can you give me another one? Or, or what, or you want to ask me questions? Or I'm asking you questions. Remember, you said you were going to ask me questions. I but I, I like did. asking you questions. So one is the with me time. As a result, Loretta, how is that with me time uh, how have you seen that change our lives? Oh, let's talk. Wow. Let's talk about the with me time. Write that down in the comment box. With me time. How has the with me time changed your life? Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. That that with that with me time is just that personal time. I see it as such personal attention. How has that? How has that played the out in our lives? How has that? How has that shown up in our lives? It has shown up in our lives by our. Um, um, visits from our disciple. We mean visits from our disciple. We've had we've had personal we've had personal visits in our home. Okay, so you're saying, Mister Miss Campbell, 
Yes. Yeah. Okay, then. Mrs. Campbell, which is Linda, that's Mr. Campbell's wife. Mr. Campbell is James uh, Sue James Campbell. Uh, mm -hmm. They've been in our home yes, probably about three times now. I know mm -hmm. Mr. Campbell has been here at least three times. Mrs. Campbell has been here twice. About twice yes. Okay. All right. So we've had time that they've come here in our home. Mm -hmm. That's the with me time, okay? Now, that with me concept, guys, come from Luke, Matthew, Luke 6, 39 and 40. It says, uh, let's go with verse 40. A pupil is not above his teacher, but everyone after he has been fully trained, fully trained, will be like his teacher, okay? That with me time is there when being fully trained. And he spoke a parable to them. A blind man can I got a blind man can leave. Will they not both fall into the pit? Luke 39, 40. A pupil is not above his teacher, but everyone who have been fully trained will be like his teacher. So that that's where we kind of got that, that with me time for disciple making. And, you know, Paul said that which thou has learned in 2 Timothy 2, that which thou has learned teach to faithful men and women who will be able to teach others also. Mm -hmm. So with me time has been one thing about that distinguishes discipleship from disciple making, disciple making from discipleship. What's uh, something else? Uh -huh, go ahead. Okay. I was just about to, I was just about to ask you. Now you tell me something. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, one of the differences that I've come to learn about is disciple making carries a higher level of accountability. Oh yeah than discipleship. People say discipleship and they just kind of leave you out on your own or they, or they teach you or give you a lesson or something. But what I've found with disciple making is that I'm more accountable to uh, Pastor Kayusi and uh, Judge Wayne Smith and uh, Mr. Campbell, these people and, and Will Credit and several others. I'm more accountable to these people because these men, because when I show up on, on the study or show up on the Zoom meetings, then I have to, you know, review my notes and I have mm -hmm. to talk about how have I been doing in the disciple making process? And the thing that really got me excited about uh, the with me time, number one, and the accountability, number two, is that when I learned that my first disciple was right there, mm -hmm. oh my God, that changed everything for me because all of a sudden I realized that I couldn't be out here just preaching and mad at her. I couldn't be out here talking about I'm a disciple of Jesus and mistreating her. I can't be out here, you know, saying, "Woo, I got a revelation. I'm excited. And I look over there at her and she ain't smiling. She looking over there like a pickle. That dog won't hunt because, mm -hmm. you know, everybody knows talking about accountability. Now, number one was with me time. Number two is accountability, accountability. Uh, I knew that if I was going to have any credibility in my life as a speaker, as a coach, as a minister, as a leader, if I was going to have any incredibility, her face had to sign off on it. Mm, I like that. I like that because I saw our lives change. Ooh, I saw our lives mm -hmm. change through that. Mm -hmm. And and I think that... Um, um, initially at first when we when we initially start studying mm -hmm. neither one of us really got that but I remember you bringing that to me one day what's that and you were saying you know my first disciple is you yeah and when you said that it was like wow because I wouldn't have thought of that at first either myself yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so so that's two things right there I know there's a difference between disciple making and discipleship Okay, but we could go on and on on that one by you being my first disciple. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? How do you how do you feel about I, that? I really think that's a really great idea because I think it's, it it all starts home. Oh, yeah. It all starts home and then we can spread it abroad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You sound so churchy. Yeah, I can't. Love yeah. begin at home and spread abroad. Yes, spread that's abroad. it. Okay. So let's see if we can get a three point. You know, every preacher got to have three points. You ain't preaching unless you give three points. Three points and a point. And you know me, uh, Loretta, I'm sitting here playing with my watch and uh, and I'm doing this doing, doing this watch thing here. And I, and I got my camera over there and it's taking pictures and it's taking pictures over there while we sitting here on the studio doing this with you all. So number one, in disciple making versus discipleship. A lot of people talk about discipleship and discipleship is kind of like, 
religious. Discipleship is kind of like empty. Discipleship is, as Mr. Campbell say, is a subtle substitute for disciple making. The Bible mm -hmm. never really talks about discipleship. It says right here, and, and all authorities are given unto me in heaven and earth. In verse 19, it says, they have, go therefore and make disciples, okay, of all nations. That word, mathetusate, make disciples. Mathetusate, math come out of making disciples. You multiply, you help people grow, you help people more. So uh, that right there. So, so my question is, what's a third way that disciple making is different from discipleship? Oh, let me see. Okay. Well, okay, we have a we have with, a, with, with me time. time. Uh -huh. We have accountability. Accountability. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Fred, let's see. Let's well, see. I can tell you. I okay, can tell you. Out. I can tell you. I can tell you. Action. Oh, action. Yeah. Action. Talk about that a bit. Mm -hmm. The action of taking action to reproduce. How do you do that? By duplicating yourself in the lives of others by pouring what's come into you into others. The way I'm learning to do it is I have taken this whole disciple making concept mm -hmm. and I have put it totally into my coaching program. Okay. And for those people that are working with me one-on-one -on -one and coaching with me, I am learning to reproduce myself in their lives as much as possible, as much as possible. I am learning to pour me into them. Okay. Okay. So, so, so what, so like, for example, what we're doing right now, we're just re repeating what we've learned. Okay. From our teaching and we're just duplicating what we've learned. Other words, we're taking action. And when we take action, we get traction. Okay. And so, so it's the with me time. It's the uh, accountability, accountability and, and it's, it's the, the taking act action, taking, taking action and reproducing ourselves and not just teaching and talk, not just saying it on paper, but literally putting it in action in every area of our life. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what disciple making is beginning to look like in our lives. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Loretta, how has your life changed in the way you approach just, just, just everyday life in your home, in our home? How has that changed since we've been studying disciple making? Um, really is is more about being accountable to him mm -hmm. um uh more studies mm -hmm. the the studying the bible more mm -hmm. um and just just living out god's word in, okay. in a deeper yeah yeah, yeah. living it out in a deeper way now Loretta mm -hmm. just last week we had something happen here in our home would that have happened if we had not been in disciple making talk about it no, I don't think it would have happened. And what Fred is talking about, um, um, on last week, we had four young ladies. Mm -hmm. uh, and they were white young ladies that come out of Sanford University. And they came over for dinner with us. And this is the second time that they've come second over. Time. This second is the second time. time they've come into our home for dinner, which we met them um, um, with um, Mr. Uh, Campbell, Mr. Campbell and, and his driver, and, and his his driver mm -hmm. Preston. Mm -hmm. Um these young ladies, we sat down and we had an awesome conversation. Conversation. They shared what? What did they share? They shared their life. They shared their coming to faith story. Yes. They shared how they came to Christ. Yeah. They shared the struggles that they've been through. And one of the young ladies says, it was four of them. And one of the young ladies says, I'm not where the rest of them are. I'm still observing. Mm -hmm. You see that right there? See, our preaching and teaching is not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in a demonstration. Disciple making is all about demonstrating. Mm -hmm. Discipleship is about information. Mm -hmm. It's about like learning that. stuff. But disciple making is about demonstrating. And what I'm uh, seeing here uh, with Loretta and I, we have decided that we wanted to take our life, our ministry, and our business to another level. Mm -hmm. So now when we do our meetups, our mastermind meetups, our, our, our millionaire manuscript mm -hmm. meetups, we bring people into our home. Yeah. We don't just have you at the hotel. We say we do the meetings at the hotel and all that kind of stuff, but we bring people into our homes yeah. because we want to be authentic. We want to be 
transparent. Mm -hmm. We want to be real so that Christ might be glorified in not only our ministry, but our business and our lives on every level. So what do you think about that? How does that stretch you as far as bringing people into our home? Oh, wow. Yeah, it it has. It, it really was a stretch at, at first, because when Frederick asked about bringing people to the home, um, I was like, wow, you really want to do that? You really want to do that? But it has been um, a great opportunity for for us just to show and demonstrate how we actually live mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and what our life is actually about. No pretense. We They come into our home and just see us in our natural element. That is awesome. I like that. No pretense. Yeah. Hey, folks, this is getting to be a little long. When I asked Loretta to sit down and talk with me, I said, let's just do two or three minutes, five or six minutes. I bet you this has been 10, 15 minutes. Hey, listen, how does this impact you? Here's the deal. You got a story. You got a message. And there's somebody watching you. Your story is the solution to somebody else's struggle. Mm -hmm. Your life message is a model and a blueprint for somebody else to come out of their mess. So I want to encourage you to be a disciple maker. Demonstrate your faith in a way that others can be like you. Demonstrate your faith in a way others can be accountable to you. And you say, well, how can people be accountable to me? Create a group. Build your community. Build your tribe. Okay? And then the third thing I want you to do is begin to take action. Take action and create product programs and services and ministry efforts so that people can model you. People can be a part of you because your life and your story is the solution to somebody else's struggle. Go ahead, Loretta. That's I feel it. you got something. No, I think you just, he did it all. No, you are. Uh, yeah, but I, you, I really you, think you, I really think you summed everything yeah. up really great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great way yeah. to sum it up, Frederick. All right. Well, hey, listen, I want to encourage you all to uh, just make disciples. At this season of our lives, we're at a place where every day counts and we're making every moment count. But I want you to know that Loretta and I are praying for your life, your business, and your ministry. And my prayer is that you will be the answer to somebody else's prayer. Yeah. My, our prayer is that you will live your life to be the solution to somebody else's struggle. Okay? So discipleship versus disciple making with me time. Be with the person that you want to model mm -hmm. with them. So when they're doing things, try to spend time with them, number yeah. one. Number two, That's be important. accountable. Be accountable. And number three, take, some action. take some action and produce. Mm -hmm. Produce. Mm -hmm. Produce. Take action. Take action. Yeah. Well, that about gets it for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our, our, our listener. We thank you for our friend. We thank you for the, the, the individual that's right here with us. I thank you, Lord, that this, that, that my friend, our friend right now, mm -hmm. who's like, what should I do next? And how should I move? Just know that your authentic and real story is enough. What God has done for you is so unique and it's so personal and you can't be nobody else. I, pr I, I, I pray that you would just rest in the uniqueness of who you are, for you are a category of one, a competitor of no one. You are a partaker of God's divine nature and you have the ability of God working on the inside of you. So I pray that you will go forth and rest knowing that God is sovereign and that you are on point on time. You're not behind time and you're not trying to catch up. You're right on point. And, and, and that God is going to use everything that you've been through to bring you into what he's got for you. So I pray that you will stay steady and go forth and let God use you as a disciple maker in your coaching business, in your speaking business, in your ministry, in your life. And I thank you, dear God, that every step my sister takes, every step my brother takes, every step our friend takes will be a step to get closer to you and to acknowledge the kingship of Jesus and the kingdom of God in your life. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray this blessing and prayer. Amen and amen. 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 Well, God bless you. Loretta and I pray that you will go forth and be the answer to someone else's prayer. Until next time, we bid you a good day. Bye-bye.